do now is we're going to look at the occipital bone. So this is the occipital bone right here. It goes all the way down this way, around this big hole here. It comes all the way this way. This is all occipital bone. And then from this view on the inside, okay, this is all occipital around this big hole there. And then it comes all the way around this way. Okay, so this is all occipital bone of the skull. Uh, structures that you want to be able to know. You want to know the big hole in the occipital bone. It's called the foramen magnum. And then you also want to know the hole that's tucked inside the opening, which I don't know that you guys can see it with your cameras. I'll try to put the stick right there. And there's a hole right there where the stick is. That's called the hypoglossal canal. And so the hypoglossal canal <laughs> is right where the foramen magnum is. Okay? Uh, on let's see on the underside here okay, these are called occipital condyles these actually sit on the first vertebrae uh, of the vertebral column so occipital condyles these allow your head to rock back and forth and then right behind it I'm gonna turn this you can see a foramen right there that's called the condylar foramen occipital condyles condylar foramen and of course, the view of the frame and magnum again. Oh, and there's a better view. And now you can see the hypoglossal canal better. See it right there? So the stick's in the hypoglossal canal. Uh, the last thing are just some bony ridges on the back of the uh, occipital bone. You have a ridge that runs right through here. This is called the um, uh, occipital crest, external occipital crest and then you have the external occipital protuberances, these ridges that run this way. And so the crest and the protuberance are just for bony attachment, or not bony, excuse me, muscle attachment. Edit that out later. <laughs> <laughs> muscle attachments, that's it.